Hello everyone and welcome to WP User TV. In this new DV theme tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do split testing in DV. So what we're trying to achieve here is to compare two different ads and see which one performs better. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a video version of this ad and we're going to use this button here to track and see which version performs better than the other. Okay, so before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to design awesome looking websites, I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. This course covers everything that you need to know in order for you to build awesome looking websites. All the information to that is in the show notes below. And also I have a free WordPress course. This will get you up and running if you're brand new to WordPress. So again, all the links in the show notes below. Okay, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and enable the visual builder and then we're going to create our split test. So to create our split test is very easy. All you have to do is to choose the item that you need to test against. So in this case, it's this row. So this is also known as the subject. So to set, to set it up, I'm going to right click over here and then click on split test. Now, this is a brand new feature that was added to our visual builder. So I'm going to click on split test. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So what has happened now is the system now has set up two identical rows, okay? So what we need to do now is to go into one of the rows, change the elements in there, and then choose the action. So the action is the item that we're going to use to determine how people are reacting to either of the ads. So in this case, our action is the button. So this is what's going to determine how these two ads are performing against each other. So all I have to do now is to click once on it, and then I'm going to go and click OK. So as I mentioned, we have two versions now of this and you can see that this color has changed. Now, you can cycle through these two here by uh, clicking on this little arrow that has just shown up, but I prefer working this way and I'll show you how. So if I click my expand settings, over here to the left, we have our wireframe view. So now we can see these two versions. So we have version number one and version number two. If I um, expand it, it shows what's inside. If I close it and open this one, it shows what's inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into one of these versions, make some changes, and then we're going to uh, see which one performs better. Okay, so now that I have version one open, in fact, you can go into either of these. It doesn't really matter because they're both identical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the second version and we're going to add a video module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and search for my video module. I'm gonna add it like that. And then over here, I'm gonna add my URL. So here I've just chosen a URL from one of my videos. So I'm gonna paste it in here like that. And then I'm gonna come over here to my overlay and then we're going to choose a, uh, an image for my overlay. So I'm gonna click on Upload. Now my image is already in my uh, media library, so I'm just gonna select it and then click Upload an Image. Okay, so now we have our video in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and save, and then I'm just gonna do a quick preview. Right, so this is the, the preview so far that we have. So I need to go in and make some more tweaks. Now, before I do that, I need to come over here and also get rid of some of this text because I don't need all of this. Okay, like that. Okay, that hurry can stay on. Uh, I don't mind having that on. Uh, in fact, we might even have this um, on the bottom of the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of it like that. Okay, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into uh, this uh, module and make some adjustments because there's some spacing issues here. So I'm gonna click on design and then I'm gonna come over here to text, uh, to heading text. And then on the bottom here, I'm gonna click on spacing. So we can see here we have this custom padding. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of that, like that. Okay, so that's much better now. Now it's time to make adjustments to my video. So I'm gonna come over here and go into my settings and then I'm gonna click on design. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to add some margins to my video. So I'm gonna come over here, add 10% to the right and 10% to the left, like that. So now my video has a bit of breathing space. And then on the bottom here, I might just add even a 5% like that. Next, I need to just go ahead and save this. And then we're going to uh, add some text below this. So to do that, we're going to add a text module. I'm gonna select it, 
And then all we're going to say in here is hurry. So to customize this, I'm gonna come over here to design, click on text, and then for the text orientation, I'm gonna center it, and then I'm gonna choose a color for it. Now before we do that, we need to um, come over here to our text and make sure we select uh, heading four, and then we can come over here now and customize the heading text. So it's heading four, I'm gonna select the tab for heading four, and then over here, I'm gonna choose my color, like that, so you can see now the text is appearing. So that's looking good. And then I'm gonna come over here to my spacing and I'm gonna add a padding bottom. So here we're gonna try 10%. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's not too bad actually, but uh, it's a bit too much. So I'm gonna change this to about 8%. Okay, so that looks much better now. The idea here now is to test and see if this video version is going to perform against the other text version. But before we do that, I still think that this text is slightly too big. So I am going to go back and fix that. Go in my settings, click on design. Now this is our heading one. So I'm just gonna reduce the size like that. So everything seems fine. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. So this is my second version. Now what you can also do here is to cycle between these two and see the version. So now I can see my uh, text version. And then if I cycle through it one more time, now I can see my video version. Okay, so that's looking good. So all I have to do now is to go ahead now and save. So when people visit this website, they're going to be presented with two different versions. Now, they won't be presented at the same time. So 50% uh, of people will see this version, which has a video, and 50% of people will see the other version. And then depending on how many people click the start button, because this is how we're going to determine whichever version is uh, more effective. So if more people click the start shopping button after they see the video, then we know that this is the one that works. Now you can see how powerful this idea is because let's say you work uh, in a design agency and um, you are, you're split testing to see which headlines work. This is the best place to, to do this. You can also use it in your own uh, situation where let's say for example, you're selling your own products or you just wanna test headlines and see which ones perform better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button once and then we're going to see if this registers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my visual builder. Now to see all the stats is very simple. What you'll notice is you'll start to see these animated bars here. All you have to do is to click once on it and then you're greeted with this new split testing statistics. So here we can see that row two had one impression and one click. Now that's the click I um, clicked to check to see if this registered. So it did register, which is very good. Now for you to really have great stats, you need, you need to make sure that this runs for quite a while. So depending on the, the amount of traffic that comes to your website, so let's say you get like um, 10,000 uh, visitors every week. So you can run this for a week. That will give you a very good idea of how many people are visiting it. Now, if your website gets, let's say, 100 visits or even 20 visits a week, you need to make it run even longer because the more people that use it, the more you get real accurate results. So I would leave it running for quite a while. Okay, so now that we can see that um, we have all our stats in place, you can actually go in here to see the reads. You can see the, uh, the bounces as well. So over here, you can also track the last seven days, the last month and all time. So this is great. It has a lot of stats that you can uh, pretty much take a look at. So let's say, you're happy with, uh, with this and you'd like to end the split test. So what you could do now is to come over here and just click where it says end split test and pick winner like that and then click proceed. So now this is where you get to choose which one performed better. Now, how do you know which one performs better? If you take a closer look here, you see this row here, it has the percentage, it says 100%. The top one says 0%. So obviously this is the one that is one. So all you have to do is to click on it and that's the end of your split test. So this is how you do split testing in Divi. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time I release new videos.